All right, guys, as we were warned, we could go for rest. There's some shady people here. It's a very dangerous city. Nice. Who yeah. fucking yeah, event? Yeah. Me. What? What oh, fucking event? Are you making a video? Yeah. We I got robbed. I don't want to. On the first day in Bucharest. <laughs> Shoes off. We are going out partying. Straight away, I just arrived. <laughs> so we've just arrived and are ready. Ooh. <laughs> Welcome to Romania, buddy. Hey, I'm not here. I'm not here. <laughs> Look at this wild place. So this is the crew of conference attendees that we met randomly in front of the hotel lobby just an hour prior and now we have the craziest night of our potential lives. <laughs> Guys, this night is about to get really crazy. Alright, here we go, guys. It's like.
Now that was fucking rough. That was rough. Shot me. I thought we were going home. It's fucking two thirty in the morning. Home, and guys, let this be a warning to you. Nothing good ever happens after 2 a.m. If we had just gone back to the hotel, everything would have been fine. But now, here we are. I can't believe we're doing this again. Such it! Oh. that this girl on the red and her friend were waiting for us to get drunk so they could take advantage. But the reason that you don't go in Central and Eastern Europe is because they are shady as fuck. And the probability of you getting drugged, getting beat up, getting robbed is extremely high, significantly, significantly higher than the actual fun you're going to have. It's sad to say, but this is a very common scam all across Eastern and Central Europe where girls will get paid uh, a commission for the, the guys that they bring in to these places, whether it's a nightclub, bar, or a strip club. So they kind of just wait around to see who's getting drunk so they can take advantage of their prey. In this case, it was us. It's your turn, mate. No, I, I, I did one already. It's your turn. I said, I said it in the beginning. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm lobbying. Nah.
bait. You know what? Bald. Give it to our neighbors. Ending. We're trying to get talk to security here. These guys are over here I'm trying to figure out what to do next. But and that's it. There's zero chance of getting it back. Probably happens every night here, in Bucharest, and at this club. All the, probably all the big clubs. Security footage. So <clears throat> they managed to get the, uh, they called the phone a few times. I saw five picked up. And now one of the remaining girls is translating saying, These guys will give you money if you come back, <laughs> give them back their phone. Which would be the uh, best case scenario. So let's hope uh, it works. So now we're all going to go meet this guy who has her phone. <clears throat> this is fucking... I don't want this to happen, dude. Like, who's going to get robbed now? Bald's offering to give this guy money when he gives us back the phone. Either we're somehow gonna get it back or we're all gonna get robbed by a knife or a gunpoint. Let's see what happens.
This is a really bad idea, guys. <clears throat> So either they're gonna get it back without problems or it's gonna be a big deal. Let's see what happens. Uh, looks like it was a good successful handoff. Maybe it was good. All right, we got it. We got it, guys. Oh, thank you so much for your help. Your I have my phone. Oh, Can you believe it? Come with me. What happened? Oh, my God. You said it last year. We have danger. We have no danger. I don't know. What, 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 who are these guys? What happened? Uh, yeah, he answered hey, on the phone. Check. But, had, but he, he took the phone? No, he found that toilet. Where? Where? A toilet, a Fredo. Okay. No, in this way. Hello. In this way. Where's Fredo? In this way, Marina. Marina, we're going this way, Fredo. Like, like, right, let's do some cocaine. Let's and let's celebrate. <laughs> what have you got? Ecstasy? What have you got to celebrate? Come on. What have you got? Oh my god. Somehow, guys, I am fucking shocked that we got this back. I did not expect it at all. <laughs> Oh I didn't do anything, but I also want to kiss. Okay, fine. Oh, I'll kiss everybody. Thanks, you, I'm so happy you got it back. Yeah, me I'm too. So happy. Me too. It's just if I had an assistant, it would be easier, but I don't. Yeah. So if anything happens, f which, yeah. yeah, it's like it's, it's like you work everything. I hope it's backed up as well, just in case for next time. Actually, Nothing it is. Work. It is backed up. Back, but just back, in case, I have yeah. my laptop in here. That's the yeah. issue. Yeah. Uh, you know, I took a vacation. Yeah. Oof, yeah. Fucking yeah, event, yeah. me. What? What oh, fucking event? Is, are you making a video? Yeah. We got robbed I don't want on to the first it. day in Bucharest. Bucharest. Well, it's already live because it's it's going to be the number one video. Can I you have believe? Nothing, I have nothing to do with We've been here for four hours in this hey, country. I'm not even in Bucharest. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Actually, this is not even a ball. This is just some random dude that was like... <laughs> deep fake. <laughs> deep fake. <laughs> but how fucking crazy was this night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where we go because I have a high heels. I have a high heels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The phone the case is over. But somehow it's everything everything worked out. And this is where we should have just went home and everything would have been just fine. But no. Wow. No. Look how beautiful this place is, guys. Wait, is that the same drunk guy? How did he get it all the way here? The city is a blind fuck. Alright, here we go. Here we go, guys. And I continue. Welcome to
I don't know what would have happened, but it was a very shady situation. Let's go, come on. Yeah, you're very lucky. Guys, we are, we, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if we realize how lucky we are yet. Like we were literally in a second or third floor safe room with no exit. And who knows what they would have done to us. America is so touchy. Man, I've been locked up in the Arab neighborhood in Israel. Uh, it's crazy Arabs looking at me, wanting to, to, slap, to, to slit my throat. Yeah, but you know what? I would rather deal with that actually. Crazy guys, man. Guys, we somehow, we somehow survived. Nice. Somehow we got out unscathed and with our phones. Your name is Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking made it somehow. but you remember this fucking night? I hope I never remember this night. I hope I never remember this night. I need me, guys. <laughs> that was so funny. Yes. Okay, well, yeah, 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 like actually about about cocaine. So I know that Ben oh. definitely won't. <laughs> <laughs> don't say anything about cocaine. Yeah. Okay. Take the video. So. Okay. Oh, okay. So. so <laughs> what, what happened? Okay. What, what happened on that first night? Tell very quickly. Like. Our night was amazing. Okay. Very crazy and funny, but yeah. it was very nice. Okay. So basically, what happened is that uh, some girls, we were drinking uh, absent. And some girls came around to trying to drink with us and because we we're so awesome and kind we said yeah okay and then suddenly my phone got lost slash stolen which is actually just stolen which one of them the the these two stripper girls the yeah. Phone got stolen. yeah yeah so and the girls magically managed to find a person like who stole it and they charged us no money and then the girls took us to the dodgy strip club place with no strippers exactly <laughs> no strippers <laughs> empty and empty no, no strippers and then this guy says like yeah okay if you give me money in advance i will bring you cocaine <laughs> i will bring you cocaine yeah. and so my, and does so this, my does sound legit <laughs> my, oh yeah okay so basically somebody gave them the money some idiot and, yeah, somebody, yeah, some stupid idiot gave them the money. he knows who he is we'll, loser, we'll call him out loser, true, true loser gave, gave, gave the guy the oh. money and, so then, and, then, <laughs> and then the guy just never came back. But luckily, no, no. Luck, luck, but luckily, we didn't stay. David Copperfield. Because why? Yes, yes. David Copperfield. Yes. They, they can kill us. Yeah. No, no, you know, you know like what? Yeah. The, best, the best cocaine is, is the cocaine that you don't feel because it doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Exactly. Was, it was the magical cocaine, you know? But you know what? We all escaped with our kidneys. Yes, yes exactly. Yes, yes. We are alive right now because. Johnny, of course, he always was like saying, no, 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 I don't want to go. Let's get the go. fuck out of here. Yeah, exactly. I, think, I think Johnny was the only yeah. person with like yeah. some And he came and said, let's go out right now. Let's leave. And you just did. Like, yeah, uh, but actually the funny part is that then the, uh, one of the girls, she, she she called Shelly saying, hey, come back for your cocaine. Yes. So, don't so, yeah. say name. Don't say name. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. Uh, saying, you stupid loser, come back and get your co coke. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, but you have that's... to pay a drink. Yes. You like, have to pay uh, you have to he, I'm so glad he didn't go back because no, no, he would have. Exactly. What, what do you think would have happened if he went back alone? Oh, I think he would never been back. Actually, like, me never, and, never. Uh, and this stupid person, uh, we discussed it uh -huh. and uh, we agreed that it would be a mutilation and rape. Yeah. We don't know in which order. Yeah, yeah. Can be different order. Like, exactly. yeah. We don't know which one comes first. Exactly. But, that, yeah, but, but you know what? We, we survived. So good job, yes. guys. We survived. Yeah. <sighs> because of you. And we're here. <laughs> yeah. Nice. It wasn't that head short though. <laughs> the story, the story <laughs> wasn't short. But it's amazing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Whoo, guys! I am glad that we survived that insane night. If we had just gone home at two thirty a.m. when we originally planned, when we got the bill, and balled in one of those extra shots, we would have been okay. And then if my dumbass didn't give the last shot that nobody wanted to take to the girls next door, we probably would have been okay. But it just shows that uh, nothing good happens after 2 a.m. Our grandmothers were right. Kids, your grandma always used to say to me, nothing good happens after 2 a.m. She was right. When 2 a.m. rolls around, just go home and go to sleep. Case in point. But big warning to everyone, do not buy drugs in foreign countries because it never leads to a good thing or whatever attempt you try to buy. If you want to spend your money, you want to buy something, buy food or bus tickets to help people who are stuck in Ukraine. Here's a video 
of someone that I've helped recently uh, through the GoFundMe donation. So thank you guys for that. Привіт. Моя родина, багатодітна родина, проживаємо в Миколаївській області на строї діток. Ми дуже вдячні вам за допомогу. Ми звернулись до вас і ви допомогли нам. Ми купили продукти, залишили трошки коштів, щоб купувати пігузники, серветки далі, молочко дітям і там хліб до хліба. Бажаю вам самого найкращого, всього найкращого і стократ більше. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. With the money I get from GoFundMe, I'm able to send it directly to people in Ukraine who need it, usually through a friend or someone I know in Ukraine and I trust. I always have people verify it and it's always through someone I know to make sure it goes directly to the right people because things are hard right now. It's The war is striking off for a long time. A lot of people are just hungry. They have, especially in these occupied areas uh, where Russia took over and it's really bad. So please continue to support the GoFundMe, I'll have the link in the description below. And, you know, let's hope this war ends soon because I hate to see people suffer like this.